the first world and third world have not had good relations, and even with our consciousness nowadays, things still haven't gotten that much better. So, uh, I don't think that it will be much improved, the relations between first and third world, even by consciousness. I'm not sure, Dr. Zain, that's what you want to hear. <laughs> Dr. Tarani, what does the wise man hear, and what do you want to reflect a bit on this discourse? education improving in the African continent. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, you fail to pass metric well, and you try to get with your F. There was an F pass in the past. You try to get everywhere, and then when you go back home and you say to a family, I haven't found placement. They say, try teaching, and you find placement. Now, the person who doesn't understand the concepts is now entrusted with teaching others to understand the concepts. And I have been a victim of that. I went into a class, Prof. Barry, and I was told, you want to do maths. How many Professor Barrys are we missing in the African continent? Who, some people call them mad in their own village because they can't understand them. Once even told me that the, the richest place in terms of wealth is the graveyard. Because there are so many people who have died without even identifying their God-given talent. So any comment on the challenge of talent? Yeah, I feel like there is so much talent that goes wasted, not just in Africa, but I feel that in general, the educational system has so much wasted talent. The, uh, the point that Dr. Mabanda brought up is really nice because I think that there was so much wasted talent in the education system, and this wasted talent is never coming to fruition because we don't allow people to imagine, we don't allow people to use their imagination, and we don't allow people to find their own passion, their own love. We instead just push them into the fields and subjects that we think are mandatory and we don't give them the amount of in-depth, uh, either we don't give them the amount of depth they want. Uh, as for people like me who are crazy about math and science, there were probably millions of other people who are just like me, have this passion in math and science, but I have been taught well and I have a great school, but many people don't really have that kind of access and some people don't even have access to education uh, when I was on the plane like two days ago there was this advertisement about uh, uh, the thing an organization that would give education to good kids who were out of school who didn't have access to school so this kind of thing there was so much talent that goes wasted because either they don't get quality education as there is for most schools or they don't get education at all. And so this kind of talent is wasted because these people are not able to find their own path and their own love. And so I think that that kind of, uh, that kind of thing, that kind of subject is a very nice one brought up by Dr. Mabanda. Also, I'm slowly being convinced by Zane that uh, empathy is actually going to win over the world and the first world is going to help the third world. <laughs> but... <laughs>